everybody, thanks for tuning in to my Cigar Vixen channel. I'm Delicia, and today I'll be unboxing my latest shipment from stogiebird.com. Um, love the new packaging. I went over this on my last Stogie Bird video, which was a surprise to me about the newer packaging, no longer in the tubes, but now in these sleek and very easy to store, easy to receive. Um, boxes here. So again, delivered right to your doorstep. In case you are not familiar with the Stogie Bird Club, it is a subscription type of cigar club, which is awesome. I've been a member for quite some time now. Always super excited every month when I receive my Stogie Bird delivery right to my door. Free domestic shipping as well as the best shipping for international rates out there that I've seen. And a lot of different options to choose from as far as what type of membership or club that you can take part in. There's the 2 for 20, 5 for 40, 8 for 60. You can also be part of the Brand of the Month Club for 70 bucks, which I love. It's a great way to kind of look at a brand's overall uh, portfolio and their whole entire lineup. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to stock up your humidors. It's an affordable way to stock up your humidors. And then always receiving like those little extras, there's stickers, there's the little uh, whiff packs that come to your ashtray. There's just a lot of cool little swag things that Sam likes to throw in there, including different exclusive cigar blends or brands or just kind of fun creations that are out there. So it's a lot of of fun to be part of this club again Sam Lucia is always thinking outside of the box always bringing us the freshest and the coolest ideas out there on the market so always again and excited to receive my shipment I it's always a surprise to me I don't know what's coming and I kind of like that so it forces me to smoke a variety of cigars sometimes cigars that maybe I haven't visited in a while or perhaps they might be brand new so again, it's just a great way to kind of sample some different things on the market. So let's get into my shipment. Well, of course, I'm part of the Stogie Bird 8 as well as the brand of the month. So cool little sleek boxes, as we mentioned. These can fit into your humidor, but you still receive your cigars in this nice little Bovida approved bag. Again, I say it every time. If you needed to, you could leave your cigars in this bag for up to a year. Um, but you also have a lot of information on the back, which is very useful. So it tells you kind of like their stats and some different information about Stogie Bird as well as how to reach them. But you can also scan the little QR code on the back and access your account in a faster way. I noticed that inside here, <laughs> there's your stickers I was talking about and the little, um, with packs again, just the extra things that come that are really useful if you have a a cigar ashtray if you use like the stinky ashtrays that's actually the brand name is stinky ashtrays um, those hold a lot of ash they hold a lot of cigars and sometimes if you don't dump them out frequently they could develop a bit of an odor so again these little packs are great you just pour this in there and it kind of keeps things freshened up a little bit more or if you're somebody who smokes cigars in their car same kind of thing if you have a little um, cup holder ashtray you could dump the, the little whiff pack in there too and i actually like <laughs> I like the box format. It kind of makes it easier for me to do the videos instead of the tubes where I would run out of room and was trying to hold things. Um, this one kind of serves as like a little tray on a side note. All right, so starting out with this, uh, what looks like a collaboration perhaps. This is called the First Third from Cigar Obsession and Blanco. So originating in Nicaragua at the Placencia Cigar Factory, a seven by 38 Lancero. Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan and Honduran filler, medium strength, and it's been aged for over five years. So beautiful. Very nice. And next up, just in time for Super Bowl, we have the game day from Sereno. This is coming out of Nicaragua's Sereno cigar factory. Um, very cool. I love the artwork. I've seen this firsthand, not this particular cigar, but I've seen cigars where they put on the really cool uh, different types of artwork using um, different color leaves. In this case, it's like a nice Maduro wrapper with the beautiful Candela accents to create this cute little football on here. Um, just a lot of fun. So this one is featuring uh, San Andres and Candela wrapper, Nicaraguan binder filler, medium strength, and again, limited release for Super Bowl from Sereno Cigars. And next up, you have this really cool, this is like super old school right here where they wrap it in the newspaper. I actually have two cigars in my humidor that were gifted to me. Um, and I haven't, I've only smoked, I had like a few of them at one time and I'm down to the last two, but 
it's just kind of a cool way like again just reminds me of like old school factory like somebody just they don't have a cellophane so they're just rolling it in the newspaper um, kind of a cool way so this is the Impreta Cubano from MJ Frias um, coming out of the Dominican Republic Tabacalera Frias SRL um, five and a half by 54 Mexican San Andres on the wrapper Connecticut broadleaf Nicaraguan and Dominican filler uh, medium to full strength. It's a limited small batch release traditional newspaper mold. It's a Stogie Bird exclusive. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Stogie Bird is constantly throwing in these cool exclusive cigars that you can only find here. So this is one of them. And I love the idea. Um, just super cool. And the blend sounds really, really nice. I love the combination of Mexican San Andres with Connecticut Broadleaf uh, right up my alley. So very nice. Next up, we have the 305 from Tarasona. This is made in Nicaragua at the Tabacalera William Ventura. 5x50 Robusto, Mexican San Andres wrapper, Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, Nicaraguan filler, medium strength on this one here. Moving on, we have the CHC. This is from Crown Heads. This is the Siri E. Has um, an interesting band. I didn't recognize it until giving it like a second look over that it was a crowned head cigar because now you can obviously see the emblem now that I'm looking at it better. Um, but at first glance, it was like, oh, what's this? It was kind of cool. So this is their CHC Serie E. Coming out of the La Zona factory in Nicaragua, uh, five and a half by 50 Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder. Uh, Nicaraguan filler, specifically using uh, tobacco from Jalapa, Ometep, and Pueblo Nuevo for a nice medium strength. The E and the 5150 tributes Eddie Van Halen. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. They always have the musical references, Crown Heads. They had the four kicks back in the day, um, but they always do really cool, like, musical little side kind of under the radar uh, type of references, which is cool. I love music, so I appreciate that. Next up, we have the, the chin, chinchal. I was, I was gonna say chinchilla, but it's not chinchilla. It's the chinchal from Warped Cigars, Dominican Republic, Tabacalera La Isla, five by 50 Toro Extra. We have an Ecuadorian HB 2K Rosado, fancy wrapper right there. Uh, Dominican HVA on the binder, Dominican filler. It's a medium strength and it is a new release from Warped. No wonder I'm kind of looking at it like I haven't seen this one before. Um, very nice. The Florfina on the band uh, from Warped Cigars. So they always make really tasty sticks. Very nice. And we're moving on to the Buenaventura BV560 from Curivari. This is coming out of Nicaragua at a secret special factory, undisclosed. 5x60 Vitola has a nice little box press to it. Um, Nicaraguan Puro, medium strength. It's been rated pretty high uh, through Cigar Aficionado, um, part of their top 25 in 2014. And then Half Will also gave it a 92 rating, so very nice. And last but not least, we have an old classic here. Um, I always liked Perdomo. Perdomo was one of those like kind of a... When I first started smoking, I started smoking Perdomos uh, pretty quickly and it was like, they always remind me of that time when I was like a newer smoker, but I always liked their, the way that their cigars were made and just the flavor profiles that they had. So this is their 20th anniversary Maduro coming out of Nicaragua, the Tabacalera Perdomo, uh, six by 56 Epic here on the Vitola, Cuban seed Maduro, Nicaraguan binder and filler, medium to full strength. It has a 92 rating from Cigar Aficionado, well-deserved and very nice. So that is what we have for our Stogie Bird 8. And of course, if you were to look at the very first two cigars that I mentioned were what you'd be receiving if you were part of the two for 20. And then the following three with those first two would be what you're getting for the five for 40 if you were part of that one. And then again, all eight of these are what you're receiving if you're part of the Stogie Bird 8. So as you can see, tremendous value, great deals and two brand new cigars. So one's an exclusive to Stogie Bird and one is a new release from Warped. And a couple others are significantly aged. So I like it. So now moving on to the brand of the month. Ta -ta -da. It's always a surprise. <laughs> I like to be surprised. It's fun. Uh, 
Oh, cute. And we have a cute record uh, sticker from Stogie Bird. Only the hits, Stogie Bird. I like that. If you notice behind me, maybe, I don't know if it's in the, in the shot or not, but I do have a, a Victrola that I received um, as a birthday present. So I am back to collecting records and I'm super excited. <laughs> Side note there. Um, so I'm assuming that our brand of the month is Blanco cigars because there's a beautiful little lighter. I love these little lighters, by the way. They're super lightweight. They they have the little grip on them so they don't slide around easy. They don't break. Um, they last a really long time. This one's already full of butane, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, these are great little lighters. So, and me, I can never have enough lighters. I always run out. I always lose them. I run out of butane. So. I'm always happy to get a lighter. And of course, equipped with my nice little Boveda pack. And here we have Mr. Dave Blanco here. So Blanco Cigars is, uh, is our brand of the month. So it says Blanco Cigars is honored to be the brand of the month for Sogi Bird. We are excited for you to try the blends I have selected from our portfolio, the CO cigars are over five years old and are smoking incredible right now. I have added my personal tasting notes of each cigar as a guide through the lineup. Thank you and stay smoky. This is from Dave Blanco, a little note from him. Dave Blanco is a character. He's a funny guy. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. I think I saw him briefly at the trade show this year, but we did an event kind of accidentally together somewhat. Um, back like, I wanna say probably six years ago, maybe longer, probably about six years ago, in Canada, in Niagara Falls. And um, he was funny. He was just like super, like little comedian. You know, he just like constantly is throwing jokes and he's real sarcastic. So we get the same kind of humor, which is great. But um, we both froze our butts off because it was so cold. Those are, I've said it before, those are some die hard dedicated smokers out there in the Canadian side of Niagara Falls because it was so cold and you can't smoke indoors. So the event we had was like cigars and alcohol. So the alcohol was served indoors. You were able to get your cigar, but then you had to go outside. You couldn't take your alcohol outside. You had to stand outside and smoke your cigar and then come back and have like your alcohol. It was kind of crazy, but it worked. People had a great time. But needless to say, it was so cold that I was geared up with like, I don't know, I had heavy coat, probably a, some sort of hat or beanie, a scarf, and I was still freezing. But um, it was cool. It was a fun event. Anyway, side note, that was Dave Blanco. Um, so yeah, let's get into the cigars that are in our lineup here. So the first step is we have the Liga Exclusiva de Familia. So this is a nice little torpedo, beautiful. You can see the age. I mean, you can see it on the cellophane. It has that slight yellow tinge to it, which is beautiful. So it's a six and a half by 54 American Pennsylvania broadleaf on the wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, um, Nicaraguan filler from three different regions. And these are David's notes here. We have a medium to full body cigar with deep earthy notes, hints of oak, sweet earth, and spicy tobacco with a peppery kick and a long smooth finish. Very nice. Next up, um, we have we have the Blanco 9. Which we have a Nica Oscuro wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan from three, three different Nicaraguan ligeros on the filler. So uh, it, this is a full flavor, full body cigar with a dark, oily, and marbleized colored wrapper. Earth, coffee, and spices dominate the palate, quickly followed by a full and long lasting body. This is a big smoke with a big profile. Um, so this one, this one was in, I want to say this was in last month or two months ago, two months ago, I believe this cigar was part of the shipment. It was such a cool looking cigar, great idea behind it. I love cigars that pay tribute to something greater. So this is called the Above and Beyond Classic Hero. It's a box press torpedo, seven by 54. Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Honduran binder, Nicaraguan and Honduran filler, medium body cigar, rich and bold in flavor that is, is forward on the palate with hints of cedar, and leather, which develops into creamy dessert flavors, including cocoa, with a subtle hint of spice on the retro hill, culminating a smooth, long finish. This series is a tribute to those that have sacrificed and paid the ultimate price in civil service, uh, police, fire, EMS, and the armed forces, with a portion of the proceeds being donated to the 501c3s that assist those surviving family members in need. 
awesome. I love it. And there's a beautiful little American flag uh, kind of tip over there that comes off of the little torpedo before you smoke it. But just a really cool band has the flag on there um, above and beyond. I mean, it just, and it has in the back actually the different, um, different crests here from either different law enforcement or military, but just really cool. Um, I like it. That's just awesome. Okay, so following that, we have the Primo's Estate Selection Rosado in a torpedo, six and a half by 52. Cabano Rosado wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian filler. Medium body cigar with an oily satin finished wrapper and a fine tooth. Minimal veins and slight visible seams. Initial notes of vanilla, deep earth and big black pepper flavor throughout the long finish. As one progresses through the cigar, there is a transition, shifting to a medium full body with the vanilla ramping up in smooth, creamy leather. Very nice. And following that, we have the Primo's Estate Selection Maduro. That one is a Robusto 5x52, a Havano Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Honduras, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian on the filler. Medium to full body cigar, fe features a very dark brown and black modded wrapper with small veins. Flavors include deep, rich earth and straightforward tobacco. Second with a long, smooth finish. The first third stays very much the same. However, into the second and final thirds, the finish grows even longer, adding black pepper and textured creamy. Okay, so next up, we have the CO final third, which has been aged for five over five years. Six and a half by 54 box pressed, a Habano Colorado Rosado wrapper, Nicaraguan double binder, Esteli and Jalapa Ligeros on the filler, a full body cigar with a thick creamy texture, prominent notes of charred wood, sweet cocoa and mild black pepper. This cigar transitions into coffee, caramel and creamy flavors. I like the age on these. Uh, so then we have the Lancero version. So the CO first third also aged over five years, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, a medium body cigar with a smooth texture, Notes of sweet black pepper, milk chocolate, and hints of cinnamon with an earthy finish. Very nice. And then we have this other cigar here that doesn't have information about it, <laughs> um, but it's called the Prince Hall, and it's from Blanco, obviously. And it's a, I'm assuming there's a Rosado wrapper. It's, um, it's a slight, it kind of looks like it, no. I was gonna say it looked slightly box pressed, but I think it's just uh, a round cigar here, but it has a really nice color to the Rosado wrapper that is on here. Unfortunately, I don't have any notes on it. I don't have information about this one, but um, that's okay. We'll smoke it anyway and see, make our own notes. <laughs> if you did receive this one and you've already smoked it, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, what kind of notes would you add? And then of course, um, I think I forgot to mention that also in this one, you get the nice little whiff it out packet for your ashtray. So again, so much fun to go through what cigars I received and kind of show you guys ahead of time, hopefully before you receive yours or maybe at the same time and find out from you your feedback on which ones you plan to smoke. Maybe you've upped your, your subscription recently. Maybe you started with the two and maybe now you're up to the eight. Maybe you've added the brand of the month or maybe the buddy system, which is also a great feature. There's so many different options on Stogie Bird. I do invite you to take a look at the website, which is constantly being updated. There's a lot of cool swag. If there's a certain cigar that you absolutely fell in love with, you can always go back and you can order, you know, individuals, you can add on, you can gift a friend. There's just so many different things you can do, which I love that there's an option out there for everybody. And again, don't forget the free domestic shipping, which is fabulous. So thanks so much guys for tuning in. I hope to see you next time and thanks again. Cheers.